So you're delivering a presentation. It's all going really well, and then this happens. Excuse me, I have a question. Or this happens. Nah, I don't agree with what you've said there. Let me tell you this. Or this happens. So I'm gonna talk really quietly so the speaker can't hear us, even though he probably can. Whether it be a question, an argument, or people just being rude, interruptions can be really annoying in presentations. But the good news is that there are three things you can do when an interruption shows up. And I'm going to talk you through what they are, how to implement them, and the pros and cons of each right now. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kyle Murter. I help people speak with more confidence and impact. And if you want to improve your speaking skills, subscribe to this channel because every week I'm bringing out new videos with tips that will help you in future presentations. So let's dive in. The first way you can react to an interruption is to ignore it. And this means carrying on like it never happened. And you see this quite a lot in the world of stand-up comedy. Comedians, they're heckled all the time by the audience, and they don't always respond to those heckles. Sometimes they just continue with their set. Now this only works if you've got a big audience in front of you, literally hundreds of people, and if the interruption is not too disruptive. If it's a small audience and it's a quite loud interruption, you might look a little bit afraid to the audience if you don't address it. Having said that, the main advantage of ignoring is it saves you a lot of time. You don't get derailed, you don't lose momentum, you just keep going the way you were. Now the second technique is to redirect the interruption. What does that mean? Well, if someone says, excuse me, I have a question, you can say, so because of time, I'm going to answer all questions at the very end of the presentation. So please hold on to it for now, and I'll get back to you at the end. And this works great because you've addressed the interruption, you've made it clear, you've acknowledged it, but you've also said, I'm gonna deal with it later on, which doesn't disrupt the flow, the time of your presentation. The important thing when you do redirect is that you say it with confidence because the last thing you want the audience to think is that he or she doesn't know the answer and they're just trying to buy themselves some more time. Now the third way you can deal with an interruption is by answering it. So let's say during your presentation someone says, nah, I don't agree with that, this is my opinion. If you're going to answer that, then you are going to have to first hear out their argument, and then second, you are going to have to respond with a counter-argument that shuts them down. Now, the advantages of this are, number one, you will gain more respect from the audience, you'll gain more credibility from them, and secondly, that individual who interrupted will probably stay quiet for the rest of the presentation. The disadvantages are it takes up time, it distracts you from your presentation flow, and there is a risk that the person with the argument might have a point, and you might lose some of the audience if they agree with that person as opposed to you. So if you are going for this technique, if you are going to respond in the moment, be confident in what you are saying. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably find this one interesting on how to answer killer questions. I'll see you in the next one.